Today we're going to be talking about saving time and money by improving warehouse efficiency. Our guest speaker is Scott Yoder of ScanCo. Scott, do you have a customer that stands out in your mind that had a severe um, inefficiencies in their wa warehouse where you were able to come in and offer a solution to overcome some of their challenges from a warehouse perspective? Yeah, thanks, Adrian. Um, one of our customers, uh, they were a client uh, originally that uh, reached out to us. They were using Mass90. Um, the name of the company is uh, Centric, and they were a medical suppliers company. And uh, they were doing everything manually, uh, writing down item numbers and serial numbers um, of their inventory manually. Um, and they noticed after a while that it was taking away time from their sales reps um, from their selling. Um, also that they noticed that their physical counts were taking uh, a day to get done. That was taking away time from other things. And uh, then manually um, inventory transfers um, were creating bottlenecks as well. So they, they reached out to us and they asked, um, they asked you know, what we could do to help them out um, as far as automating their, uh, their warehouse. And uh, so we were able to work with them to uh, implement a ScanCo solution to uh, completely automate their warehouse. And uh, once they implemented that solution, um, they noticed uh, almost immediately that they were catching errors immediately rather than after they were already going through the processes. Um, they were collecting data remotely, and they were no longer spending hours writing down long lists of serial numbers um, with the chance that those could be misread or transposed. Um, and accuracy and efficiency was the overall takeaway from um, the ScanCo solution with Centric. So just a little bit of a background on ScanCo. Um, we've been in the business for 20 years uh, in the barcoding and warehouse management space. And uh, back when we were getting started, we really wanted to find out what we could, uh, what we could do that was uh, going to be around for a while, that was a promising industry, that had a need kind of universally um, in the workplace. And uh, that's when we came up with barcoding. At the time, barcodes were not as universally recognized as they are now. They weren't as ubiquitous as they are now. So we kind of saw this as um, as a, as an area that there was a need for it, there was um, potential huge growth for it, and uh, it was going to uh, create um, create some positive things in, in the warehouse industry. So the next step was we had to figure out kind of who we wanted to partner with and who we wanted to kind of hitch our wagon to that uh, was stable and that had a good name in the industry. Um, we looked around at, at a few different uh, big names and uh, we came across Sage, and we were very happy with what we saw from them, with what they provided to their customers, um, kind of the name they had and what they were bringing. Um, so we were happy to uh, kind of partner with them. I'm going to do a quick overview of the ScanCo software as it appears on the handheld units and uh, just do a quick process run through on there. This is a screenshot of the ScanCo Automation Series software as it appears on the handheld scanners. And uh, this is after the user has already logged in. Uh, before you come to this menu that you see on the screen right now, the actual worker who's using the handheld unit has to log in with uh, their code, their login number, who they are, and what warehouse they're in. So you can see um, in the top uh, kind of left hand of the screen, it does says it says warehouse triple zero central warehouse. Um, so now it knows the handheld knows who you are, what warehouse you're in, and you can see the different menus there to choose from. You have purchase order to receive product in with. Um, you have a few different ways to create invo invoices and ship data out with um, your physical count menu there. And um, just want to point out as well the size of the buttons. Uh, we made those intentionally large and um, that was because most of the workers uh, in the warehouse may or may not be um, familiar with or, or used to touch screens. They may or may not have big fingers. So we had these buttons intentionally large enough that uh, was going to be conducive to the touch screen environment that this software operates in off of the handheld. So um, we want to make sure that it's as efficient and easy for the worker to, to navigate through 
um, while they're actually using this software on the handheld in the warehouse. So next up, we're going to focus on shipping because that's one of the main areas that can cause the most problems in the warehouse. So I'm going to go to the shipping screen, and from here we can see uh, an additional menu. And um, what we see here is uh, you know, the shipping data entry button, the sync button. Uh, the sync button provides different ways to, um, to transmit the data back and forth with mass, um, with where ScanCo is located on your servers. And uh, you can work out of a batch mode um, when you're inside uh, RF coverage and you can communicate uh, in real time with the servers. You can also work outside of wireless. If you're going to be outside of the wireless network for a little bit, you can continue to scan in inventory to ship uh, goods out. And uh, you just won't be able to um, uh, check that data against what you should be seeing in the systems until you get back into wireless coverage. So let's take a look here at the shipping data entry menu. And this is the actual screen that you're scanning off of um, from the barcoded pick tickets. And uh, what we see here is a number of different fields. Um, you can see the validation of sales orders with real-time pick tickets, um, the item numbers on the specific sales order, the bin location the item is in. And also you can see the uh, third field from the bottom. It's going to show the quantity on the order versus the quantity shipped. So you can see here that we have a total of two items um, with zero that have shipped yet. So this is the actual screen that you're going to be scanning the barcode against. And um, as soon as you hit the, um, as soon as you hit one button from this screen, you're going to create an invoice. So it's it's just this easy. So at this point. Um, I've done a little bit of a run through of the ScanCo uh, automation series software. I've talked about how we can automate the warehouse, a little bit about barcodes and um, the equipment that's used there. So I hope I gave you a good overview of, of how ScanCo provides uh, our, our solution to automating the warehouse and just like to open up to questions at this point.